Well, my friends, it's official. It's sunset in Tel Aviv right now. The last trump is blown and Feast of Trumpets is over. I'm still sitting here talking. The rapture didn't happen. When are you going to stop lying through your teeth, uh, pseudo-Christians, uh, Christian fringe, and keep setting the, the rapture on Feast of Trumpets year in and year out and just breaking people's hope? Do you know how many people out there count on what you say? And when it doesn't happen, Year after year after year, it breaks their will, it breaks their spirit, it breaks their heart, it makes them sad, it makes them not believe in the rapture anymore, it makes them not believe in Jesus anymore even. You will be held accountable for that when you stand before Jesus Christ. I can assure you of that. Are you going to start listening and start reading the true Bible, the true word of God, or just keep making up your own Bible as you go along? And I've already heard people say, oh, well, this year now, after it happened, after after things that happened this year, oh, just now, by the way, oh, uh, it's not Feast of Trumpets now. I forgot they say, hmm, it's another feast because of, of something else. I'm tired of it. I really am. I'm sick and tired of it. No one knows the day and the hour of Christ's return but God. Christ don't know. The angels don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Christians aren't Jews. Jews aren't Christians. New Testament is written in Greek, not Hebrew, like the Old Testament. We're in the age of the Gentiles. We're focused on Gentile things. God knows God's going to deal with the Jews soon in the seven-year tribulation. But right now, we're at the end of the age of the Gentiles. We're dealing with Gentile understanding of the Bible, the New Testament. We don't know anything about Jewish customs, like I've said in, in the sermon yesterday. And watch if you haven't. It's very informative. All glory to God. But I'm tired of it. I'm tired of seeing Christians. And again, you go ahead and start resetting again for next year and start saying, oh, oh, wait a minute. It's next year now. I, People, you're going to be answering to God, to Jesus Christ, on Judgment Day. And don't count on it being on at the Bema Seat Judgment. If you keep lying through your teeth, you keep leading people astray, all the, all the, all the blood of all, the, of, all their, of all their them will be held on, on your hands, my friends. It'll be on their heads as well. It'll be on your hands for leading them astray and being unfaithful watchmen, unfaithful pastors, unfaithful teachers, and just, and just basically liars. I'm tired of it. I'm sick and tired of it. And... I'll call you out on it every year. You keep calling it. I'll call you out every year. It's my job as a pastor and a watchman, and I'm just tired of it. I can't imagine how tired of it the Lord is. So please stop lying and just understand. Be ready every second of every day because no man knows the end of the hour. No one knows but God. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer to the six steps I have in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. Look up, true Christians. Our different draws now. We fly soon. The rapture is imminent but no one knows. Be ready all the time. Love you guys. Take care. Share this video. Bye.